Is the devil you know better than the devil you don't? That's the question that Lucifer attempts to answer. The new series premiering tonight on CTV stars Tom Ellis and explores life for Satan after he decides to retire in L.A. Film critic Richard Krause had a chance to sit down with Ellis to discuss the show. Where have you been? Oh, hold up at the chateau, copulating with a young woman named Faith. For the Lord of Hell, shouldn't you be doing something more significant? I'm a tired maze. I've got nothing but time. When you first were offered this, when they said, here's, mm -hmm. here's this thing, what was your first take? Because it's kind of an unusual story, and yeah. it doesn't give anything away, I don't think, to say it's about the devil, mm -hmm. Lucifer, actually the devil, who comes to Earth and decides to take a bit of a vacation, yeah. essentially. Well, yeah, I mean, I think more, I think actually the, the idea is now we've taken it on, the, he's gone into retirement. Okay. Yeah. And uh, he, you know, he's probably, we, we pick him up probably about five years into his kind of sabbatical right. in, uh, in, uh, in Los Angeles, which is a different kind of hell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think, you know, he's living this kind of, he owns a nightclub, yeah. you know, he um, drives fast cars, drives fast yeah. cars uh, sex with lots of women, you know, and it's, uh, he's got this kind of, and the people around him that have sort of escorted him from hell, his kind right. of um, minions, as it were, are um, concerned about the fact that he's kind of losing touch with who he is. Where he can't see that himself, but I think by, sure by osmosis, he's kind of taking on particular human man. traits, it? like Stop emotion it. and feeling. <laughs> but he doesn't know that. He doesn't, can't process what these things are. Um, and as we find through the first episode, you know, he, um, he feels a sense of injustice about uh, the death of a, of a, 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 I suppose she's like a protege of his. Yeah. Um, and uh, takes it upon himself, given that he believes that the LAPD are not going to investigate this crime properly. He's like, well, I'm going to do it then. And um, I'm going to punish the person responsible. Yeah, yeah. Because he likes to punish people. <laughs> That's what he's good at. Um, and, you know, we go on this, uh, he goes on this journey, and then uh, a police detective is kind of, her suspicions have been raised that this may be not such an open and shut case as was suggested. And um, they end up indirectly teaming up together and finding the killer. Well, I think it's also kind of important to note here that the show's funnier than you think that it might be. I think, I mean, I have to say, when I, when I was given the script, um, and I'd read quite a few scripts during the whole um, pilot season right. process, this was head and shoulders the funniest script that yeah. I read. And I, I was, you know, I, was, I remember sitting at JFK airport and pulling, I'd, I'd just been for a meeting in New York and I was a bit tired and worn out and I kind of was like, right, I better get on to the next script. So I pulled this script out and I started, and I was literally openly laughing yeah. in this airport lounge at this script thinking oh my gosh this is brilliant uh, the, the take on this character and Tom Kapinos um, who created Californication right. wrote the pilot script for this um, and the way in which he created this character and the way that this um, character spoke we just leapt off the page to me you know and, and I kind of knew how instinctively how I would want to do it um, well, there's something interesting about watching you in this because you are completely confident because you're immortal. Yeah. So that takes away a lot of the risk it factor. Of stuff, yeah, right? it takes away a lot of stuff right off the table <laughs> to begin with. Uh, but there's a, a certain charm that you have to have to get in and out of various situations. But you don't have superpowers. No. Particularly, I mean, you've got other than immortality, and that's something. But you don't, you can't fly. No, you can't do any of those sort of things. There's so. none of that. And also, that really appealed to me as as a project. I kind of, you know, I I'm not hugely into sci-fi or any right. of that sort of stuff. But um, what I liked about it is it wasn't reliant on superpowers or supernatural things yeah. to 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 make this project to make this thing work. Um, he has the ability to draw out people's desires, yeah. and that's what I love about it. It's kind of He's basically saying, what is in you is in you. And I'm not making you do stuff, you know. Yeah. Your choices are on you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just going to slowly pull it out of you. But he, I, I decided that I wanted to do it in a way that was... Um, he has a sense of fun about people. He's like to play in general, detective. What about you? We should be out there solving the homicide and punishing those responsible. We? I have a certain skill set. I can be very persuasive with people. So you were sleeping with her then? Oh, yeah. You can catch the series premiere of Lucifer tonight at 9 on CTV.